Rockstar finally brings back some limited time clothing. Also, we are getting some free clothing items this week, which seem to have a very interesting theme, plus the usual discounted items that you can pick up this week as well. Also, the Halloween pass now is expired, so if you didn't pick it up, you cannot pick it up any longer. And if you didn't complete it, unfortunately, you cannot unlock those items anymore. For all male characters, the Tasman outfit is back this week, and you can purchase that. For female characters, the Danube outfit is now available to purchase and that'll cost you 15 gold bars. The furred gloves are also returning limited stock and you can purchase them for both male and female characters. The fan stovepipe hat has also now returned. I'll just give you a look at all the different colorways that you can now select from them. There is eight in total. The raccoon hat is also limited time clothing and you can pick that up in 12 different colorways for both male and female characters. I believe all variants of this will cost you $151 to purchase. The pelt half chaps are also returning and you can pick them up for both male and female characters as well. These come in a selection of 10 different colorways. What makes this week a little more interesting than normal is that Rockstar are actually giving away free clothing this week. They all seem to be a black tent of a certain clothing item and almost feels like we're going to a funeral when we kit it out with it. For male characters, you can get the black bowler hat. You can also get the black worsted coat. The black Anton jacket is also available for free. You can also pick up a white frumpy shirt. And on top of that, you can put a free black parsley vest. You also get the black colorway of the clerk pants, as well as a black colorway of the stovepipe square toe boots. To finish off the outfit, you can also get a folded string black tie. I'm not really sure if there's a hidden meaning to this, but it definitely does feel like funeral clothes to me. For female characters, you can get the loose patched coat, as well as the Hartel autumn jacket. You can also pick up a white Anishta shirt waist, as well as that black parsley vest too. The black buckskin pants are available for free for the females, as well as the black stovepipe square toe boots. You can complete the outfit as well with a black string tie as well as the bowler hat. Again, I'm not 100% sure why these are free, but you know, while they're free, you might as well take them. This week, there's also 40% off all pants and skirts over at the tailor. And you will also get 40% off all gun holsters over at the gunsmith. While at the gunsmith, you can also avail of 40% off all the uh, pistols as well. And over at the stables, you can get 40 to 50% off all of the American paint horse breeds. So worth having a look through there if you are interested. This week's call to arms map is the Valentine map, which is one of my favorites. So it is nice to see that in the circulation this week. Over at the Wilderness Outfitters this week, you can get 30% off all of the different camp themes. You can also get 30% off camp dogs as well as 30% off the fast travel post and the deluxe campsite. Madame Nazar's collection this week is the Squires collection and that'll get you $65. It's usually an easy collection to make. This week, Rockstar are also making it free for anyone who hasn't created a permanent posse to get it now for free. So it might be worth doing that if you don't have one. I also haven't been able to find any bonuses this week. I did read online that there might have been a bonus on Moonshiners, but testing it, there doesn't seem to be any bonus for me. So if there is a bonus on something later, I will definitely post to let you guys know. Also really curious to know what your thoughts are on the black clothes that you now get for free this week. I know they are very similar to the permanent posse, but it is kind of strange and does kind of remind me of something characters might wear for a funeral. Also, are you happy to see the returning limited stock and and what items have you been waiting for for a long time? It has been a long time since we've seen them, so personally, it is nice to see them back in circulation. Massive thanks to everyone who supports this channel, especially to the members. Okay, people, catch you in the next video.